It's Josh here with the Go Kotkin channel, and today we've got the E Revo on the workbench. I'm going to repair a couple of the things that we broke um, in my video, I think it's two or three videos ago, where I had the Revo at the park. I was jumping it off the ramp, and a couple of things broke. I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through a few of the repairs that I'm going to do for this Revo today. All right, so what I plan on doing today is replacing the upper and lower A arms on uh, the front driver side of the RC uh, because these pivot balls um, actually ripped out from the A-arm. So the threads on the inside of this is going to be damaged. We're going to replace these. And then I'm also going to replace the front and rear axle carriers for uh, the driver's side. And then while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and change out all of these uh, pivot ball covers. So all of that will be new and fresh and uh, we'll get back out on the road. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're actually going to have to do quite a bit in order to get these front A-arms off. We're going to take the body mount off, front bumper, and skid plate. That'll enable us to remove the pins from the front. So we'll go ahead and start taking that apart. Remove these two screws here. And let's take that bumper off. And there's a screw right in between the shocks here. So there's that and we can remove the front pins. We'll remove this one here, pulling out this way. And I have to be careful because a couple of these spacers are gonna fall out. I'm gonna open this up, A632. I know it was hard to see as I was taking that off, but basically both of these clips are gonna go on the inside, and then these two are gonna go on the inside here. We're going to flip this over, undo this frontmost skid plate. <clears throat> All right, just full of dirt. Um, just pulls out this way, but let me get this cleaned up and then we'll take the uh, rear pin off and replace that arm. One second. All right, so now we can take this pin out. Uh, okay, so I was thinking that was all one long piece. But it looks like it comes in two pieces. So let's flip this back over. Let's see what we need to do. All right, looks like this skid plate needs to come off. Ah, I see. So it looks like this screw, yeah, this nut needed to come off as well. So we gotta be careful here because where these two servos link together, that's where that screw went. So we don't want to uh, disrupt that. So taking it off of this side. So we'll grab our new one. Make sure that goes back in the middle. One. And insert our pins. There's that, and now we can insert this back on. All right, so now we can flip this back over. We've got the two arms installed. Now I can switch to the carriers, the pivot balls, things like that. So let me change the camera view. All right, so we're gonna have to take the pivot balls as well as this axle off of this one, two millimeter. We need this. Grab this, and then this tool, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna insert, here, let me move this just a little bit for you. Insert this through here so we can line up. I'm gonna grab this um, hex screw in here. This is what actually holds that pin in place. We're gonna cover that up so we lock that down. And you're going to hold all this together while loosening that grub screw. Okay, loosen that enough for this pin to be pushed out. So now that pin is free because the grub screw has released that pressure. I'm going to push that all the way through and then this comes off just like that. Okay, now this can be pushed out 
this way. Sometimes the bearings will come with it, sometimes it won't. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bearings. And if you need to replace your bearings, now would be a good time. These still feel really smooth and we still have the covers on both sides. So we're good there. I'm gonna grab a paper towel, put the front one out. And that one is also still really smooth. We've got the covers on both sides, so we're good there. All right, now we're gonna to want to remove these covers here. I'm gonna grab this tool, insert and unscrew that all the way. And that is just so that we can get, as so that comes off, pivot ball comes out. Same thing here. Open this up, three, six, three, five. All right, and you can see why I'm replacing these casters. So um, you can see the new ones on the left. It's nice and square up front. And then here you can see where it's deformed. Now we're gonna put our pivot balls back through here. And we're not gonna reuse these. We bought a kit that has them. 5378X. First couple threads should go on really, really easily. And we'll just finish it off with this. And what you wanna do is just Get it down where you can start feeling that it's grabbing that pivot ball. It's getting a little tight to turn. And just keep checking. All right, so we still have a ways to go there. All right, so there the pivot ball is completely tight. So we need to back off a little bit and check. So here, it's still a little too tight. There's some parts where it's loose, but then it gets tight there. So back off a little bit more there. Now that's pretty good. You can move forward and backwards. You should hear a little, little tick. All right, that means it's just slightly loose in there. That's perfect, that's what we want. So now let's do this other side. All right, so now, we're actually going to grab our new grommets, okay? Or I guess they're called boots. Our dust shield over the pivot ball. Again, try not to, uh, to scratch the boot or tear it. So I'm holding this pivot ball in place with that hex tool, pulling it up so that I can Pull that down a little bit, and then now it can unfold and go over the built-in steel ring. All right, that should be enough. I'm trying to un unfold the rest of this. There. Now we're gonna grab our blue, and this is just gonna go over this. Insert that there and there. You're just gonna to wanna to check all the way around, make sure that that grabbed the edge of that boot so that this can move around without coming undone. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for this bottom one. All right, so now that I've done both boots, both clips are on, I can put these bearings back in. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then insert our drive shaft through the back, out this side, make sure our bearings 
stay in place. Watch this pin right here, because that may try to come out. Um, that needs to be flush in order for this to go in all the way, okay? Now we're gonna take this, put that on, grab our pin. Pin's gonna go through this hole. And now what's actually gonna keep that pin in place while we tighten the grub screw in here is this tool. So not only does it keep the drive shaft and everything from moving, it also holds the pin in the correct spot while we go in and tighten that grub screw down on that pin. So now from here, we're just gonna insert the axle into uh, the dog bone. Make sure you've got this point in the right direction. It should be towards the middle of the truck so that um, your steering link can connect. And you're just gonna thread the pivot ball like this. We're gonna go through here grab the pivot ball so that you can, well, it might help if we grab the right size. Okay, and then try to be, you know, pretty careful on this part. We wanna make sure that you have even pressure while that's being screwed into place. And you can reference the other side to know how much to screw that on. Here's that. Now we're gonna put our steering link back on. All right, so there's that. Now, the kit should also come with these two blue grommets. Keep in mind, there's a little cutout in the middle so you can stick these through and it'll go all the way through the grommet, through the axle carrier and to that pivot ball. So if you need to go in and make changes while the tire and everything is still on the car, you can do that. All right, there's the front and same thing for the rear. So we're going to replace the boots uh, in this rear axle as well, but it's gonna be the same as the front. All right, you guys, so I got the rear done. Uh, for the rear, I was just replacing the boots, the clips, and these outside covers. So. Now, just got to put the top part, body mount back on. That just screws on with this single screw here. Okay. Now that's back on. So now we're done. We put the wheels back on and Revo's fixed, ready to go again. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.